Business Coach Pros, and this is Tips on Trading. I thought I'd share with you a little bit today about brokers, something I learned the hard way, but uh, I, I hope maybe this will help you learn uh, a little fast, a little sooner, and not have to worry so much about uh, learning from the school of hard knocks like I did. A broker, quite frankly, is not your friend. Let me just say it straight out. They're not your friend, all right? I thought they were when I began. I now know they're not. Don't make the same mistake and listen to these few little tips you want to watch out for. First of all, there's several different levels of trading privileges, depending on what size of accounts you have, depending on how much experience you have. And a broker can tell when he talks to you on the phone whether you're brand new, you're novice, it's your first account, or whether you've been at this a while and around the block a few times. When you're talking with a broker, you must always remember, now how to, no matter how nice they sound, no matter what promises they make, no matter how much they incentivize you to open up an account with them, always understand, if they're a retail broker or a market maker, these are not your friends, okay? Because retail brokers, market makers, are going to be trading on the opposite side of your trade. Do you know that? Most of the people I talk to at Business Coach Pro don't understand that basic, simple little fact about their broker. Most of them are shocked and surprised to find out that when they take a buy position, their broker is taking the sell position on the other side. When the broker takes a sell position, he in instantly enters into a conflict of interest. That broker is no longer interested in making spread fees from the trades you enter in the market. Spread fees are minuscule. They're nothing compared to what they're going to make when you lose your account. Now, you think, well, does the broker really want me to lose my account? How are they going to make money that way? How are they going to keep making ongoing spread fees that way? Well, you must understand, market makers, which are the retail brokers, the vast, vast majority of brokers that are available to the, the small little guy out there who's trading, who's the new guy, these people know the odds. They know that the Forex market in which I, I'm principally trading is a very high risk market. In fact, they know that the vast majority of new traders, if not all of them, when they begin, are going to lose their account within 45 to 90 days and sometimes less. You need to know they play the odds. That broker is no different than a bookie. He's taking your bets because he's betting himself against you that you're going to lose. He's playing the odds. And when you lose that account, he would rather you lose it to him than to someone out there in cyberspace. And then he doesn't make any spread fees anyway because your account is empty. So why should he be incentivized to make a spread fee if he can make your entire account? And why not offer you a $300 bonus to set up a, you know, set up a, a, a $2,500 account when he knows he's going to make the bonus back anyway? Just remember, the retail market maker or that retail broker is not your friend. And you must learn how to compensate for that issue if you're going to become a more successful trader. That's a tip on trading. Hope you don't forget it. And I hope it serves you well.